Some presets are not limited to 16 pads only and especially if you're playing a full electronic drum kit you will have more than 16 notes, hi it open, hi it closed, hi it foot, um, different zones on a uh, cymbal for example. So you are not limited to 16 fields but you're limited to 16 fields in the drum rack tuner. So um, let's give you an example. So for example we have the kick big punchy kit here from Ableton session drums so we have kick snare side stick uh, snare hit big punchy and if we go up 16 fields we will find the hired close and open on a different area than just the E1 or C1 to D sharp 2 it will be in the next area starting at E1. So you actually want to change a few of the outgoing pitches from the drum rack tuner in here and that's easy to do. Let's say we want to have some of the upper fields um, triggering the hi-hat open and closed. So let's have this one and this one being mapped to those fields. So at the moment now we are sending out a B1 with this field but we actually want to have it up here and we need to have a look which uh, number this is actually and we can find this out if we open the chain view and then the in and out section and the hide open reacts to a B2. Actually we can change this in here and set this down to B1 and then the field will trigger but to give you the example of how to change this in the drum rack tuner we do it differently we're gonna put the B2 into the field we're triggering here. So let's put in B2 in this field up here and now we're changing what kind of MIDI note should go out and let's do the same with the Hyatt uh, Close which is an A sharp 2 and let's put a A sharp 2 on this field which is this one, I can always see it's blinking, so we are here. So we want to put in, oh, I forgot the value already, A sharp 2, I guess it was, A sharp 2, there we go. So we now have different pitches going out, which are not only um, limited to the 16 fields you see in here, or you see in here, you can change the outgoing pitches as well.